So in the next section of the course, we're going to be talking about space medicine, the medicine of space. It's fairly straightforward, but it is how humans survive in space. Uh, in the first half of this course, we're going to be talking about more from a physiological medical standpoint, uh, and we're going to be doing that with uh, Dr. Emma Tucker. Um, so Emma uh, did a PhD in astrophysics and did her medical degree, and so she specializes her research focus uh, on space medicine. Uh, in the second half, we're going to be talking about space psychology uh, with Professor Kate Reynolds. So in this beginning bit, when we're talking about humans in space, it is all about the physiological health changes that humans essentially go through when they're up in space. My name's Emma, and um, as introduced, I am a doctor, but uh, I do research in space medicine. And I'm going to talk about everything that can go wrong with the human body in space. And uh, basically, if you're thinking about going into space, if you've got a pretty strong stomach, you don't get motion sick, and you're happy to take risks, you'll probably be okay. But I'll talk about some of the things that could happen to you. So I, I really like this photo um, on this slide. This is of astronaut Bruce McCandless, who... Uh, flew essentially in NASA's first version of a jetpack, for lack of a better phrase. Um, I think it kind of highlights the nature uh, of space, the darkness, the vastness, the emptiness. Um, and it really, I think, can kind of frame some of the issues that you start to have um, when you are in space uh, the effects of space, uh, and then how those effects and properties really start to uh, wreak havoc with the human body. And so, you know, we've talked in the beginning of this course on lots of different properties of space. And, and there's kind of four broad ones that we can apply when we're talking about space. Uh, obviously, there's microgravity or zero gravity, which as we discuss, uh, there is gravity in space. Um, but the microgravity effects have interesting consequences, as we'll see. There is the lack of an atmosphere. Again, as we talked about, as you go higher up, you lose an atmosphere, the molecules escape, uh, and therefore the density of the air goes down. Um, this also changes things like the pressure, all as we talked about in the first section of the course. And this again changes things in the human body. Uh, the temperature in space, again, the temperature changes in space, as we said. Uh, and so we kind of picture space as this cold, vast thing that again has problems. Uh, and the radiation aspect, and, and at the end we'll, we'll talk about a few other random ones, um, but all of these kind of four key things that we talk about at different levels in the physics of space also have big implications for the human body in space.